it is a toxic smoke, so you want to you want to try and uh, you don't want to be in it, and you want to try and stay away from it. This smoke is continuing to blanket the air north of Winnipeg's downtown core Sunday afternoon after a fire at a lumber yard. Crews were called to Ankle Lumber shortly after 1.30 a.m. for reports of a significant fire. Once crews arrived, the blaze was categorized as a second alarm fire, prompting a larger firefighting response. The fire has, uh, has uh, become a little bit more intense and um, uh, we're moving apparatus back because the, uh, the building itself is now compromised and uh, could fall uh, fall in or fall out. The fire prompting smoky skies all throughout Winnipeg. I, uh, I wasn't expecting that this morning coming to, or this afternoon coming to get my pizza toppings next door. <laughs> At first I thought it was from the, like, the fires up north, but it has that kind of plasticky, oily kind of smell. Six homes in the area were evacuated with two transit buses being called in to provide shelter for residents. A firefighter suffered minor injuries and was treated by paramedics but was not transported to hospital. City officials are asking residents to keep their windows and doors closed as the smoke from the fire may be toxic. You know what's in a lumberyard? Paints, uh, uh, asphalt shingles, uh, anything that you, any building material that's there. So we, it could be anything uh, causing the black smoke. Officials have not provided an official cause for the fire yet, but some residents say the area has been a problem spot. One person who is a supplier for Anco Lumber and did not want to appear on camera told City News that the lumber yard was very cluttered. Fires are really common in this area. Jason Martin has lived in the area for 20 years. He says the exterior of the lumber yard was just painted over three months ago to cover the graffiti on it. You know, somebody who wants to cook on a campfire, so they decide to build a campfire. And next thing you know, the building next to their campfire catches on fire. It's incredible the sheer number of properties that A, have caught fire recently, or B, have caught fire in the last year or two and have been just left to sit by the city. Winnipeg Fire say they expect to be here throughout the day. Since the structural integrity of the building is compromised, they say they won't be entering the building, instead letting the fire burn. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.